What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I want to be showing you how you can add background music in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, or 13. Okay, so just before we get into this video, let's say this is a requested tutorial as you see on the screen right now. With that being said, if you would like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Okay, so for this, I'll be using this piece of music right here. It's non copyright as you'll see right now. You can see this is the music I'm using. If you like it, then it'll be linked in the description below so you can go ahead and download this. So on the screen right now, I have my latest video which is showing you how to export in MP3 in Audacity. So we're going to add background music to this. So we're just going to cut out the intro here so it gets straight into the video part. And we'll start adding the background music. So here we go, this is what we got so far, if we just go ahead and play this. Just before we get this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Tony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects. Okay, that's just a little preview. We're going to go ahead and drag the music in. So I've already downloaded it, you can see right here. I'm going to go ahead, click, drag and puts it underneath like that. Now, if yours does come up like this, all you need to do, right click, click new audio track, and then another one will appear, just go ahead, drag it down like so. So now we have the video with the video audio, and then we've got the music. So I want it to play from there. So let's see what it's like so far. We haven't adjusted the volume, so let's just play. Just before we get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial on Tony Vegas for 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Breaks, Movement, Cinema 4D. Okay, I probably didn't pick a good part, so let's just go ahead and move this forward. Click OK. Okay, here we go. And then, all we need to do is drag this a bit more. And let's get the drop in it, so you get to hear with the drop. And here we go, so we haven't adjusted the volume yet. Click OK. This is going to come up. It wants that exact file right there, so click OK. It's not going to work. Now so you can tell, you can barely hear my voice. Now, do not mess with any of this with your commentary. It'll just make it sound really bad. All you need to do is come to this right here, the music. All you need to do, come to the top and you can see the gain. Just go ahead and drag it down. Now, it's up to you how far you want it down. But, personally, I'd say I have it about there. Because, obviously, the main focus is the voice. So, if we go ahead and play this now. Click OK. This is going to come up. It wants that exact file right there. So, click OK. It's not going to work. Now that is because... Now that's probably a bit too loud. Now it might be different for some people, but I'm using Apple earphones right now, so it's a bit loud for me. So I'm going to keep testing this out, because we need to download that file it's after. So if you go to the description, and you'll be taken to this website right here. So if you're on Windows, you click this. Click Run. It's a very simple installation. Click Yes. Click Next. Next. In next. And Install and finish. Now it is done. And that is it. It is that simple to add music to your commentaries. All you need to do is mess with this. Now of course if you don't like messing with this you can come here and change this here. Just turn it left. And you can also double click here and you can just put minus 17 or something and it lowers the volume down as you'll see right now. Click OK on Windows. You click this. Go ahead and Mac, change you minus 20. This. So for me Windows I'm going to click this. Then from here. And you can see it's very simple to do. See you that is it for this video, thanks so much for watching, like I said, start the video if you want like to request a tutorial on Tony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, Review, Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when I'm posting and what I'm posting. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel where I post 3 to 4 times a week. And finally, be sure to go ahead and add me on Snapchat as you want to do throughout my day. See you guys, it's been Casual Savage thanks so much for watching, please subscribe, rate, and peace.